Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's question is, will supplementing herbs similar to Tonghat Ali mitigate the negative effects of lowering testosterone levels due to a calorie deficit? Basically, when you diet a long time, uh, when you lower your calories over time, your testosterone levels will typically drop. So here's the question, how, what can we do? Can we take herbs? That's basically what the subscriber is asking. Can we take herbs that will increase the testosterone levels even though you're in a calorie deficit? Um, the answer is yes, and there are herbs that can definitely do it and minerals and so forth. Um, there's other factors also. One of the biggest factors of a low diet, I mean a low caloric diet is a stress. So uh, the more you lower your calories, the more you lower your blood sugar, um, insulin production drops, cortisol, the stress hormone goes up. So, and as stress hormone goes up, testosterone comes down. So that's another factor. Also sometimes low calorie diets, people don't sleep as well, lack of sleep, again, increases cortisol levels, adrenal output and so forth. So that's gonna be another factor that's going to decrease testosterone levels. So there's, it's always down to hormones. So regardless to say, I've created an additional video that I recorded for you earlier about this topic on um, basically all the different um, diet things you can do, different specific supplements and so forth that will help increase your testosterone levels while also lowering your stress levels and cortisol levels while you can, you know, while you're dieting, being on a calorie deficit. So you can at least maintain or maybe even gain a little bit of muscle while you, you lose that body fat. So with that said, let's continue on with that video. All right, so let's now get into the details about the best ways to increase your total and more importantly, your free testosterone levels, whether you're dieting or not, or basically under any kind of stress, which is what dieting is, it's stress on the body. And before we continue, Research has shown that those who subscribe to this channel and click the notification icon double their testosterone level. So make sure if you're not already subscribed, do so and click the notification icon, all right? Now, as stated in the introduction, we first need to focus on lowering your sex hormone binding globulin or SHBG. Now, one important method is to lower elevated estrogen levels. In fact, estrogen is important, right? But when it's on the higher end, it's not good for men, and this happens when people get overweight and as we age. So losing body fat is important because fat cells increase aromatase enzyme, which causes testosterone to convert to estrogen, and thus you'll have higher estrogen and lower total and free testosterone levels. So um, that's one thing you wanna do. Also taking natural supplements that manage estrogen levels is important, such as DIM and white button mushroom extract. Um, you can also take specific herbs that help increase your free testosterone levels directly and indirectly. And some of the best ones are Tonghat Ali, or Ashwagandha extract, Tribulus terrestris, a fenugreek extract, maca root, nettle extract, and horny goat weed. I'm sure you've heard some of these. Now, most of these herbs, including the estrogen um, modulating, lowering ones that I mentioned earlier, such as dim and white button mushroom extract, are found in a product that I use called Alpha Viral. It's a testosterone boosting supplement that I've been using since 1999, so it's well over 20 years. And I put the direct links to Alpha Viral below in the description area, including coupons if you wanna give it a try. Now let's keep moving on to stress and cortisol. As stated in the introduction, stress and the increase in stress hormones such as cortisol can decrease total and free testosterone levels. Remember, any long-term stress can cause chronically elevated cortisol levels. Dining for too much or exercising too much or not sleeping enough or ongoing emotional stress and so forth all can increase stress hormones such as cortisol. Obviously, it's hard to sometimes lower external stress. You know, we can't always control everything. However, my three favorite solutions for improving stress is first of all, more sleep, all right? Getting more sleep or just even resting is super important. Most of us are not good sleepers, all right? We wake up too many times, we don't get enough sleep. It's not deep sleep, the sleep is poor quality. And I've made many videos about this and how to improve your sleep and I'll put direct links to better sleeping uh, subjects and solutions and so forth below in the description area. Another important way to lower stress is having more carbohydrates, all right? Because as carbohydrates increase, uh, a lot of other factors happen, but one of them is insulin goes up, and as insulin goes up, 
um, cortisol levels come down. So make sure you have healthy uh, carbohydrates, not like the junky ones. That'll help lower cortisol. In fact, people who are on no carb or keto diets, you know, sometimes you'll hear them say, man, I have so much more energy. And that's one of the reasons is because they're not having any carbohydrates and there is an increase in cortisol and adrenaline and other stress hormones due to that very low blood sugar and the lack of carbo uh, carbohydrates. So keep that in mind. And then finally, we have supplements. Supplements can really help. Um, vitamin C, I take three grams a day. Fish oil, I take four to six grams a day. Magnesium, I take at least six to 800 milligrams a day to help lower cortisol levels. Um, other herbs, uh, as I mentioned earlier, also ashwagandha, emodin, um, phosphatoserine, and others are very powerful to help manage cortisol levels and stress hormones. Now, most of these ingredients uh, that I mentioned uh, are found in a product that I take called Stress and Cortisol Relief. I've been taking it for many years. I put the direct link to Stress and Cortisol Relief, the supplement, below in the description area, including coupons. Now, I personally take Stress and Cortisol Relief after my workouts because I know that time my stress levels are high and I want to lower my cortisol levels. And also before bed, I do so because you want lower cortisol at night to improve melatonin and get better sleep. All of these help promote my muscle growth, fat loss, and deep sleep. So in summary, if you wanna increase your free testosterone, especially when dieting or during any times of stress, you wanna decrease estrogen levels by lowering body fat levels, and all of this is done by lowering sex hormone binding globulin. You also wanna decrease uh, stress hormones such as cortisol, and also taking different herbs and supplements that I mentioned earlier, and those found, again, all included in alpha viral and stress and cortisol relief will help speed up the results much faster because we can't always control outside forces, right? Relationships, money problems, and so forth. Now, I put videos and links for all of this stuff for more details below in the description area. Please take a look now while it's fresh in your mind and let me know what questions you have about today's topic or anything related to this and what future topics you want me to talk about. 